Should we go to the moon? We might have to upgrade this though. You, you could upgrade it, it costs, it's going to cost us 225,000 whatever currency this is. So we get a max 255 parts. We only have a max parts to 30 at the minute, so we can only build like relatively small ships. Oh, I don't know. That's going to cost us a lot of money, let's do it. I did it. So we've got a bigger um, spaceship thing now. Look at this, it's much bigger. Okay, so we can build a, well, a bigger spaceship now. Let's do that. So this one is going to go to the moon. It's not going to land on the moon, it's going to orbit the moon and we're going to come back. It's really easy to do, trust me. He says it's, he, make, he does 20 attempts of it. Okay, right, so we've got our parachute on. Uh, we're not allowed struts. Oh, we could put struts on. I don't know if to take the science pods or not to do all the sciencey stuff. I want to take a service bay for sure. Maybe we won't take a science junior yet until we have like bigger fuel tanks and stuff. Um, and we'll just put all our sciencey stuff in here. Um, we'll put in goo for when we get into like orbit the moon. That it'd be you know it'd be different. We'll take some thermometers. We'll take probably three maybe. So I like to do um, orbit in the moon, in space, like Earth's space, I don't know if I've done that yet. And one like between Earth and the moon, see if that does anything. Uh, mystery goo, we've got that. So the only other science thing we've got is, science, is the science junior thing. It's the only other thing we can get science from. You could take an antenna and try and beam stuff back, but you get less science for it, so I don't see the point. Um, let's just close this up then. We'll just leave that for now. Shut up. I'll take another goo as well, just in case. I'll put it underneath here, like this. There we go. So we've got two bits of goo now. Close that. Right, we'll put a heat shield on. Got to definitely remember that because we're probably going to come into the atmosphere very, very fast coming back from the moon. And we'll try not to, but you never know. Should I, should I put struts on it? Landing strut. Oh, we might be okay. I reckon we'll be okay. I want to risk it. What's the crash tolerance with the service bay? Where is it? Ah, 40 meters. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, this is only going to be going about six with that parachute, so that should be okay. Right, the coupler. I need that. There we go. Um, now this is when it gets to the good bit. So in space, we only need a little bit of thrust to get us going. So that's probably still too big. We're probably gonna need that to be honest. Oh, I don't have to go with two engines or one. Oh, it's tricky. We'll go with. We'll try two. Maybe we could try a one and a half. It's just that little bit extra, isn't it? Let's try that, and then we'll add this tiny little thrust on. So this is gonna be our main space thing. Light to the moon back. This is what's going to orbit the moon and bring us back. It should be enough. Um, let's add some fins onto it just for you know, just make sure everything works okay. I'll add another decoupler on. Um, we'll add more fuel tanks. Should we go for three? Is that worth it? Or is that going to be too heavy? We'll try three, because we're going to need it to get up orbit. Um, we're going to use this thrust around, because 168. Bit of thrust. Okay, and then we're going to have the solid boosters on the sides. We're just going to go with three again, like we always do. Could go with four, but I don't think it's needed, to be honest. Okay. And I think so. Nice. Have some more fins on. And some to the sides here. There you go. Let's just add. Uh, where are they? God, I always forget where stuff is. There you go. Just add these on as well. Get us to go through the air a bit better. So that, uh, that might get us to the moon. I think it would. I'm pretty sure that's the sort of thing I normally would use. I guess there's only one way to find it. Uh, find out. 
I'm gonna call it orbital, but I don't know if we're actually gonna orbit the moon. It might just circle it and have to come straight back. Let's do like a flyby sort of thing. Okay. So I'm always find out. I have to test it. I think we'll be. I think we'll get there. Let's try. Night time as well. That's fine. So basically, I'm going to try and teach you how to get to the moon. I'm going to try because <laughs> if you go 90, 90 degrees, so when you go up, you see here you got the 90 degrees on the on the Earth ball thing. If you go that way, that will circle us around the Earth on the exact same axis as the moon, and then we'll do what I said before. As soon as you see the moon over the horizon, you accelerate, and it usually pushes the apoapsis out to where the moon's going, like towards. So we'll try that. Uh, I don't want that on. Oh, I didn't do the play staging, did I? Okay, well we want that the same, and that decouples, then that decouples. I want that to go at the same time as that, and that one comes down, and then we land. Okay, so let's try that. Let's go. Oh, that's heavy. <laughs> that's a slow takeoff. It's okay though. I've got to slow it right down though. I don't want to get too much drag. We get a lot of drag right now. Starting to rotate a little bit as well, which isn't good. It's okay with a couple of these, and we should be okay. Should really start tilting a bit. Oh, not too far though, because we don't want to topple over. Is it an apoapsis yet? I'm pretty sure it's in space, so. Probably want to start arcing it out a bit because I've left it too late again, like I always do. I'm so scared to do it though, because the amount of times you, um, you end up. Toppling over in this, so we're still not full foot throttle yet. We could do, but I kind of want to save it when we get try and get our orbit. So we'll try and get to about 100,000 meters, and we'll stop. Okay, we'll stop there. I'll do it. I'll do it every time. I press the wrong buttons every goddamn time. What was it on? Auto. Oh, I don't know. Okay. All right. Let's get. It pointed towards the 90 degree mark. Oh, music's come on. We're in space. We could quickly do some experiments, or should we just wait until we're in orbit? Oh, God, this is hard. Okay, so once we get to the Apple Epsis, we'll then full throttle it. So we've got a bit of time. We might as well try and do some experiments. Or well, we can. Uh, we don't need the goo. We just, we just need the temperature, don't we? So let's just use this one. Oh, we must have already done it in space. That's fine, we'll do it around the moon instead. Pretty sure done one in the upper atmosphere, because I don't think I've done that yet. That's fine, we've got plenty more rocket launches, so we can always just attach a thermometer to it just to get a bit of extra science. But this should hopefully get us a decent amount of science doing this. Because we will do some experiments up there, so. Right, I think it's time to start thrusting, so. <laughs> that's, what, that's what he said. Okay. Speed back up. I think we need. We, we'll wait way too slow. We need about 2,000 meters to, per second to start thinking about an orbit. I have to point up a little bit more. So we are going to have to get rid of this uh, this fuel and use the little little thruster thing to get us around into an orbit. That should be okay. Remember, like I said, you can't get there in about a tank anyway, so. Let's get ready to jettison this. Okay. 
trying to take this one up. Uh, this will be enough. This will be enough to get to the moon and back. So we just need an orbit. It's very slow. That's the only thing with this. But look, we're not using much fuel. I don't know, actually. I think I'm second guessing now. It might not. It's difficult to tell. Just still falling towards the earth, which isn't good. We need to be pulling away from it. If we can get an orbit relatively quickly, we'll be fine. Okay, I think about 2,500 meters per second to get an orbit. It's near that. Okay, so we are going up now. So we can start leveling out again. Definitely move the camera somewhere, haven't I? Oh. Okay, that's a pretty terrible little bit, but that's fine. Get us where we want to go. So how much we got? These aren't our fuel left, so let's do what I always say to do. Go around until we see the moon. So it's there. So we have to do a whole bit so we see it again. Can we speed up, please? There we go. Bye, moon. We'll see you in a second. Okay, so. We can't go any faster, that's fine. But we're in an orbit, that's something. I should be about to see the moon again now, so if we start to rotate round to the prograde. Like so. And we should be able to get a decent amount of thrust just to get a nice little arc towards the moon. Start seeing it in a second. Come on, where are you? Haven't missed it, have we? <laughs> Come on. There you are. Okay, so now, let's get to the retrograde again. And if we thrust now, we should hopefully get in the path of it. Watch from here. But you see how easy it is to push out the apoapsis, look. It gets quicker and quicker as well. Do you have enough fuel? Yeah, we've got plenty. Half tank, that's fine. I could have done with two full ones just to be safe, but <laughs> we should be okay. Because the speeds we'll be getting up to doing this, it'll be, it'll be easy to manoeuvre around things. So it's slowly getting there, we have to make sure we don't overshoot it. Going to get an orbit? Okay, we're not actually, we might do, because I don't think it does it anymore, where it automatically text it so let's just see so we're gonna get near the moon how much fuel we got mmm <laughs> very little we should be okay as long as we don't get catapulted out into space I think we'll be fine we just need a flyby that's all we need maybe they've changed it maybe you can't do that tactic anymore that's how you used to always do it might have left it too late it looks like we're gonna connect up with it but we're not Are we going to get into the gravitational pull of it? Go on. I think we might do actually. He might catch up with us. 